this podcast. We've been going for a minute, guys. But we're dead. We had to go look and we have a new guest with us, Chrissy. Oh, back with Chrissy. Introduce yourself, ma'am. Hi, <laughs> my name is Chrissy. I'm 25 from Brooklyn. <laughs> um, I like long walks to the sushi spot. <laughs> and I have a brand called Smack with Chrissy that promotes an outlet and a platform for creatives to just be the best version of themselves. Um, we can get into that later, whatever. I'm also a spoken word artist. Um, and I also have an event planning company called Classy Culture Event. Yeah, nice. nice. I do. Okay. I can mix a drink or five. On the Shalolo. Okay. <laughs> so I'm Jell-O trades over here. Yes. <laughs> well, Jim, we reintroduce myself. I'm Slim, guys. Um, Tell them what you do. You yeah, know, one. just a little bit of everything. You know, sometimes I model, sometimes I write. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, I'm the host of the List Podcast. So make sure you guys are tuning in and you are able to find us on iTunes. Um, soon be on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Music, just follow the brand. Um, Facebook also, Lethal Lips with a Z podcast. Same thing on YouTube. Also follow at Follow the Culture and follow us on Instagram as well. Yes. And she was a part of Day Summit this year. Can we get a yes! round of for that? Put my sister to play with gay game. <laughs> shout out to more booking, shout out to more value. Yes, that's the game. Okay. But I am Silva of a Silver Line of Productions. I have my own blog. I'm working on my own podcast. It's about mental health. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, we just out here. We can't work. Oh, it's love good. networking getting this work, guys. If you okay. have anything that you have to offer, especially artists, guys, make sure you email us at Lethal Lips Podcast One. Um, or you can hit up our Instagram, like I said, and our Facebook. Find us, email us, like I said, if you have any um, content or whatever you want to share. If you want to be interviewed, let us know. Um, starting with the first topic, if you guys know Target Practice. This is our segment where we do a little bit of celebrity gossip. And we point out a few of the celebrities of the week or situations of the week that we thought were like crazy to us or as of recently. So the first thing was Emily and Fab. They're back together now. Oh they were my together after the whole uh cops coming him having a shank like he ain't straight out of jail i don't know what was going on now the first know. thing i'm gonna say is in my experience i've been dealing with domestic violence literally all of my life mm -hmm. so i know for a fact that one it didn't just start from what we've seen mm -hmm. that's a fact She's conditioned. She probably has, uh, what do you call it, Stockholm, Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome, yes. Yeah. Right. So that's been going on for years. And then it's not going to be easy to come out of that. Like, yeah. they've been together yeah. for, what, 11 years or something like that? Mm -hmm. Probably more. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, it's, there's no coming out from that. It's between them. Her father getting involved won't do anything. Cops getting involved won't do anything. Right. It's between them. They both have to make the decision to call it quits. Right. And like, the only I'm difference just between the situation there. now and before is that now everybody knows about it. Right. That's right. literally the only difference. Do you right. think it's more of a coming from an insecure place or it's coming from a place of she feels like she has more to gain by staying there versus leaving? It's not necessarily about gaining anything. I think it's a point of comfortability right and i'm leaving you to go to what you know mm, what i'm saying like right. once you outweigh the pros and the cons let's say because i don't know their situation yeah what if the only con is that she getting her ass beat mm -hmm. and there's so many other things that she's flourishing in through that relationship right. there's so much right. that they're complimenting each other with right, right so right. it's like i'm really gonna leave you to go to somebody less than you right because that's really what it is flab is came one of the kings of new york yeah so yeah. i'm gonna leave Fab to go to who? Yeah. What does Johnny Emily do? Block? What does Emily do? Can Emily, anybody say that? Emily's a stylist. She was always she was a celebrity stylist. stylist. Yeah, she was and stylist. she already has her own clout is yeah, what I'm saying. But to have somebody to add value to you, that's the whole point of us being in relationships in the first place. Yeah, right. You want somebody to add value to you, to benefit you, to help build you, and help you grow. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure Fab has done that for her. Right. Right. You know what I'm that's saying? Right. So it's not like he's just being her ass and being a waste mind and don't have nothing in <laughs> to offer her. And I'm not justifying him yeah, being her ass. Right. But from that standpoint, it's, you really have to, in any, even in any situation, whether he cheated or anything like that, in any relationship, you have to weigh out the pros and the cons. Right. And if the so pros you, are outweighing the cons, then 
Do you feel like Fab really wants to be with Emily or you felt like he I, tried to get out of the relationship yeah. a lot and she just kept like, no, no, no. Yeah. Because I, I, I definitely guess. felt like that. I think it's partially that and the fact that he's comfortable. Every guy has that one comfort woman. Right. Yeah. That they know and it's still yeah. going to be that right. day. And that's day. how I feel about Emily when it comes to Fab. Like, yeah. he's I very complacent and okay with that life. If he want to step out or do whatever mm -hmm. that they do, he knows for a fact Emily is always going to hold him down regardless. Do. Right. And vice versa. So I feel like there's also that aspect. Like, I had a conversation about um, my grandparents. My grandparents have been together for 67 years. Yeah. And Damn, that's long. Yeah, <laughs> I can't yeah. even count that high. Yeah, and they've been through a lot of things. Run. Even like my grandfather having a baby out of wedlock with somebody else, mm -hmm. you know, in the marriage, and they still together. So it's all about what are you willing to put up with? Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. What, that's you, what you what you put up with? Why I say that is because he hasn't. Made he her was yet. yeah, like he's been dragging this whole marriage situation, and I feel like. Because they have kids, and that's another factor. Because they have kids, so that's it's a like, big factor too. I gotta stay with you because yeah. we got kids, and every if time I try to leave, you pregnant. Though, they you know what I'm saying? Married already. They are. That's true. <laughs> they are. He probably, and that's why we think thinking too. Like, well, I get the ring if we here right. now. We here now. <laughs> but it's been so nowhere. long. We've been through so much. So it's like you might as well just deal with it. Yeah. And it's sad though. I feel like it's sad because people get complacent in those stories. And a lot of people don't want to start over. Because I was going through her Instagram um, with Aggie, shout out to Aggie, and no, his Instagram, and there's not really any, pic any pictures of Emily. Yeah. It's like, at all. Just so like, it's like pictures. I feel like they yeah. more so have an agreement than a relationship. It could be that, too. Cassie and Diddy. Um, but, next topic. <laughs> So the next time, <laughs> y'all got more ginger ale. Um, um, the next person is Mashika, Masika, Mas. Miss Booked in Business. Masika Kalisha, <laughs> Masika Kalisha. That's the whole name. Okay. Huh. Yeah. And um, Juju fake got a beef because Masika caught herself saying, um, and I quote. Ladies, I use that word very lightly, in parentheses. Mm -hmm. um, stop bragging about your college degree that you're not using, being dumb enough to waste mommy and daddy's money to sit through four years or more of college just to try to do what my college drop ass, dropout ass is doing. Is not brag worthy, idiot. So she dropped, <laughs> first of all, wait, she dragged it when she said, um, ladies, and I use that loosely. Right. So that was the first sign right, of what um, the fuck. Shame, right. Then when she said, um, being dumb enough. Yeah, being dumb enough to waste mommy and daddy's money. First of all, is it really dumb to get an education? Let's right. get into that. <laughs> Let's talk about I the young ladies yeah. and gentlemen that are out here getting scholarships also because mm -hmm. they're using either their talent or their smarts. Not everyone is riding off of their parents' pockets. Right. To to and then women, black women, are the most educated people on oh, this well, earth. Let's That's talk about it. So, what are you talking about? Like, I feel like, and I love Masika just for ratchet purposes only. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> but, like, you dragged it. Like, you made a whole ass out of yourself because education is key. And it's exactly. not just institutions that provide you education. Exactly. Exactly. You can get education and you just have to want to learn. Yeah. Exactly. So the fact that you're dismissing that whole shit like that, like, you're bugging. It it's was petty. That, and then, um, yeah, that just shows ignorance. We had Juju pretty much responding. And um, Juju pretty much said something along the lines of saying that... Um, it's always good to, at the end of the day, have something to fall back on. Yeah. Like, I have my Absolutely. degree, I'm doing this, and at the end of the day, I don't need a love and hip-hop. I don't need a this and a that to try to show my ass just to make it. Like, right. I have my smarts and my intelligence right. to be able to merge into whatever market I want to. What you, what you call her that. earlier, Masika? What? <laughs> Oh, so, professional baby mother. Oh, like, you can't you can't sit here and say oh, and you doing yeah. what I want, what I'm doing now. Like just because you're making a cute little trinket, you know, right. off of acting a fool and getting humiliated in national TV. Let's call a spade a spade because that's right. what's going on, right. you know. And then you're making your money, and I feel like a lot of um, people sometimes they they get wealth mixed up with like what it is what your reality is so mm -hmm. like just because you're getting some money off of it now you feel like oh well i, I ain't even in the first place right. I, I, how long is that money going to last you because if you don't even have the smarts to know how to network through that then it's like but then there's yeah, also that money's gonna go like this then there's also the the topic of relevancy like <laughs> 
Right. Is she still on Love & Hip Hop? Does she have really? a, Yeah, does she have a place on Love & Hip Hop right. still? I feel like the last... I'm not really up to date with the Ratchet TV, but I feel like the last time I seen her, she was on there throwing shade at somebody else's baby mom. Oh, her, her baby father, baby mom, basically. And it's mad right. young, so I don't even know... Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Alexis. Alexis. You know what I'm saying? Alexis. Guy. Guy. And if, if you so booked and busy and occupied with your life and being a great mom, why is this woman even a factor? Right. right. Like, if you so busy getting your life, why do you need Love & Hip Hop? Right. Right. That and was that, technically you know her saying? only in on the show, but she didn't even want to film scenes with Alexis, and Alexis literally just wanted to talk to her. See? And that's kind of what Juju was saying, too. She was like, listen, I was able to, first of all, leave Cam Cameron. Right. And still be about my business. Right. right. Because I have she a degree. She didn't miss a beat. She didn't miss a beat. beat. Exactly, but someone like Masina, like, Masina. She, <laughs> <laughs> she gets uh, dropped like a bad habit, and then she will be lost. So right. it's yeah. like, you know, don't come at anybody with the degrees. Like, granted, like, you know, me personally, I talk to my associates. But I still have something to fall back on. And I would still, like, go back if I choose to. Not everyone has the finances to go, first off. Mm -hmm. So it's like, don't insult people that, you know, are trying and doing, wanting better for themselves. Like, that's just a stupid insult. It's yeah. like, like, don't knock anybody for wanting more for themselves, whether you agree with it or not. Like, well, because you're bored. Right. And I feel like there's a trick to the whole college university type of situation like i learned you really have to know what the fuck you want like you gotta know what you're studying oh, like, exactly because right. i started off as a physical therapist at hunter college like <laughs> i went to be a physical therapist and i'm nobody's physical therapist like i don't even want people touching me like right. i just right right you just went to the right room. but i took a break and then i realized like yo i've been ducking this media shit literally all my life like yeah. it's been following me music's been following me and then i it clicked to me once i went in school with that mindset, it was golden after that. Yeah. Know what golden. you want. That's another tip, guys. <laughs> know what you want before you go into college, though. That's like, a fact. Even if you want to sit there and take, what is it, um, whatever art. Liberal art. Yeah. Oh, liberal yeah. arts for a yeah. little bit. To ride that out for a little bit until you decide what you truly want to do. They have and if courses you still don't know and you feel like yeah. you're wasting yeah. your money, you yeah. can take time off of take school. Like, off. it's okay. It's take yeah. a There's no time limit on when to finish school mm -hmm. or anything like that. And don't be afraid to go back. Yeah, yeah. just be certain in what you're studying so you're not sitting there wasting and 60 you credits. And you wasting your mommy and daddy's money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <crap. laughs> so the next topic was, um, we had Kim Zolciak. Um, so sis caught herself. Hold on, real quick. Shout outs to Meek Mills. You wow and shit. And uh, <laughs> congratulations to him for beating the case. He's yes. On the race. <laughs> he meets the Free case. Meek. He Free out Meek. here. He boy. out here finally. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Woo. Party tonight. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna hold back you real quick. Life. I feel like him going to jail this time gained him mad respect. And it might have kids. It might have kids out. It might have kids. Because honestly, Meek has never been trash in music. Yeah, never been trash. True. He true. was taking L's in life and, <laughs> and life choices that he just so happened to make. And it's crazy because I feel like Meek caught the bigger L dating Nicki Minaj. Yeah, Nicki did. did. So Nikki. him going to jail, mm. like, he really gave mm -hmm. street cred that. <laughs> I like, might be bugging. I gotta, I gotta nah, talk to my I, I OGs. I feel like he gained a little bit back, a little, a little shoulders back. Yeah, now, like, like he could walk like came this. Came back out with the braids. Jay Z like. co-signed him and all of that. Yeah, like my yeah, son is good out here. He got a points now. He got a job. <laughs> <laughs> so back to um Kim Zosiak of Atlanta Housewives. Uh, we all know she's pretty much the only white girl on the show. And so apparently on the show she felt bullied. <laughs> during the reunion and so she was saying like you know how how would you feel if it was a uh, uh five black girls you know attacking you we'll we'll put that clip in but right. pretty much um she said this whole racism thing in this day and age is bs and if social media wasn't there racism wasn't all that real this whole racism thing in this day and age is bullshit like oh, every one of those motherfuckers on that couch owes this world of fucking apology for this racism. Shit. They already tried to claim that shit long ago, Sheree, as you know. Nobody really bought into it because the social media wasn't there and racism wasn't fucking all that real. <laughs> First of all, I'm black as hell in real life. So. I know, okay. And I get pulled over by the cops like I'm a grown ass man. Yes. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Especially so, based off when I drive, like. So we gonna we up. gonna act like in slavery days, the darker you were, you wasn't put further out into the field. Mm -hmm. Right. We gonna mm -hmm. act like Rosa Parks didn't sit on this bus and fight for our rights and be able to sit wherever the fuck mm -hmm. we was at. 
we gonna act like we really gonna act like <laughs> Shirley Chisholm didn't try to run for president and got right. denied multiple times, not only because she was black, but because she was a woman. woman. Right. So we, this this is what we really gonna Ruby do. Right. For you know yeah, what I'm saying? She couldn't education. even go to school in her own district, and she had right. to go very far because segregation in schools. Like, hey, oh, we, we really hey, gonna act like all of this did right. not happen without social media? Right. As hey. if the internet didn't even come into play until hey, 1996. This is, these, these are things that we're really gonna sit down and act like just did not happen <laughs> magically. There was a, a clip on Facebook, I think it was, that I was watching the other day about mm -hmm. um, it was like a round table discussion. And um, the black woman, I forgot her name, was coming at the white lady because she made like a, like a, um, an insensitive think comment. She was about. And she yeah. was like, well, why are you like attacking me? Yes. And oh, then, yes, yes, I saw that. And, and she said, oh, attacking you. Right. I feel I like you. <laughs> that's the problem when people see black women, they always feel like they're being attacked. Right. Yeah. It's not that we're being attacked. I feel like anybody in any situation, whether you're black, white, Chinese, whatever, if you feel passionate about something, it's going to come out as you're passionate. Right. Right. And just because you don't have the same views as me, you're feeling attacked. I'm yeah. not here for you. Yeah. I don't care how you feel or your insensitivities because the way you talk in a, through your ignorance, mm -hmm. you attacking me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you don't mm -hmm. see me coming at you, love. Exactly. Right. So you just need to be humble. My truth is not your truth. Exactly. So just understand my walk of life while I try to explain it to you the best way I can. Right. And if you, it don't relate to you, then move the fuck move on. on. You know exactly. what I'm saying? If you I don't know. have an input, move the fuck <laughs> on. Exactly. Now, I feel like, first of all, talking about black women, because I just so happen to be one. Oh, cool. um, uh -huh. I feel like the way we talk is just so sexy. I'm not going to hold we you. We have like, a lot. Like, it's like a song and dance. Like, if yes. I'm raising my voice, bitch, Ooh, I am hitting the keys. I'm <laughs> hitting the keys. If I'm with my hands, I'm dancing. It's just a dance so right here. I swear, the Millie Rock came uh -huh. <laughs> Black women started the Millie Rock, all right? So... <laughs> <laughs> so y'all feeling attacked meanwhile we just out here trying to put y'all on to the next dance move that's Stop a fact right. this is culture this is beautiful like I, I just the white tears are overrated that's yeah. first off you know like not everyone is attacking you unless someone is putting their hands on you or fast or legit no cursing you out by your like name yeah like the defensiveness of um white people white women <laughs> white women especially boy because they are very detrimental to what uh, when our society is trying to prevail right, like yeah like sometimes it's just like it's too much like when white women want to cry rape or whatever it is or like <laughs> abuse or they feel like they're being attacked like sometimes it's like we there's so many black men that went to jail and things of that nature simply because of white women like, oh, I've been this like you know what I mean right. and, and it's just like it's ridiculous at this point if you to say racism is a real sis you're on an all black show, first of all, and that's how I know sometimes there's so much undercover racism that mm -hmm. eventually will come down. They out planted your someone. little white ass. Yeah, like, you know. You wasn't even supposed to be there. That's like <laughs> reaffirmative action or some shit. <laughs> right. I don't know, I just made that up. Reaffirmative, <laughs> unaffirmative, <laughs> non affirmative, something. <laughs> Take that bitch back. We don't want it. I just felt yeah. mad disrespected when she said that. Yeah, it and was ridiculous. I feel like you just wanted attention because I feel like yes. a lot of people do. And white women just have these extra special ways of mm -hmm. trying to get that attention. Mm -hmm. And bitch, just fuck you. How about like that? white Hold feminism that. when they talk about all women, but they really only mean white women. Hello. Like, right. Listen, right. a white woman could gentrify a whole neighborhood. Let's I just feel like if we look at the tear of society as like white men, white women, Black men, mm -hmm. black, black women. women. You, and I feel like white women are, are the, higher there yeah, because they're the bit. they're the ones in the. Oh, the ears. only reason the only reason why I say the white woman is under the white man just for visual purposes. Yeah. If you look at people in power, majority yeah, of them are white men. Right now. Yeah, they're yeah. The they're, they are married though because all of them are married, so they have the white woman to back them. Yeah, but right. the face. Is usually the a white face man. of oppression is the white man. Amen. So okay, <laughs> but um, shout out to all my white people too. Yeah, we love y'all. We love y'all. Yeah, we love y'all. Give me a little bit of education. It's just some of y'all be rather. That's <laughs> we need we need more white eyelash, um, white yeah. allies mm -hmm. like Eminem. That's yes, what we need. We or you know. <laughs> but yeah, but that's it for Target Practice, guys. Thank you for tuning in with us and sitting with us on the couch and chilling as we talk this celebrity gossip and keep you guys posted on what's going on and continue to tune in. Bye, guys.